I'm Anna. Why aren't you cooking? Today we're going to make Anna's Orange Chicken. It's a recipe I made up a few years ago and it's really delicious. The ingredients you will need are four boneless skinless chicken breasts, two ounces of honey, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, which is a nice mild vinegar, it's not too harsh like white vinegar, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, two cloves of garlic, half a nice yellow onion, yellow onions are also uh, milder than white onions, uh, one medium to large red bell pepper, one medium to large green bell pepper, some salt and pepper, and two cups of orange juice. You'll also need a large bowl in which to mix the marinade, some kitchen shears, a nice sharp knife, a wonderful clean cutting board, I like wood, plastic's okay too, and a baking dish. The first step in mixing the marinade is to mix together all the spices and the wet ingredients. So I'm going to take my two cups of orange juice and my nice big bowl, pour that in, along with my two ounces of honey. And sometimes honey obviously can get really sticky, so, and I've pre-measured it. So I put it a little nonstick cooking spray on the measuring cup first before I put the honey in, and the honey will just slide right out and it won't be such a big mess. I'm gonna take my one tablespoon of both rice wine vinegar and soy sauce, put those in there, and my half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm grinding my salt and pepper, but you don't have to. You can buy it pre-ground and it tastes just the same. And just mix that all together. And it might look kind of gross, but it tastes really good. There are two ways to cut up bell peppers. One, which I'm, I use both. So one, you just cut the top off, just like that. And you have that, the middle, all the seeds. Just reach your hand in and grab them out. Throw that away. And just rip out the veins. Um, the veins are fine to eat, but I don't really like them. Um, then you cut it just in a few little strips. Line the strips up and just kind of cut them. It doesn't really matter if they're all the same size, they look right, because it tastes the same anyway, right? Now the other way to cut a bell pepper, which I learned from TV actually, is start at the end, not the green part, and just slice almost all the way down, and then just rip it apart. And then all the seeds are at one side, and you take your hand, and you just rip that out. They're both wonderful ways. And then this one, we're also going to cut into strips. And then the other way, and add that. Now we're going to chop these two cloves of garlic. I'm starting with a whole head of garlic, and sometimes that's hard to break into. So you can take the back of your knife and just kind of get it in between two cloves, like this, and then just peel it, and a whole clove should come out. And then from there, you can just grab with your hand and pull out another one. Peeling garlic is kind of a pain in the butt, so you can take your knife and rest it on top of the garlic clove, and with your fist just pound on top of it, and it loosens it, loosens the skin just a little bit, and it's easier to peel. I also like to cut off that kind of end part from the bottom of the head because it doesn't taste very good and it's easier to peel that way. So 
I'm going to peel my other clove, cut off the end, smash it. Now you just put them together, chop them roughly, and you can put your the, your, the palm of your hand over the end of your blade and just move it up and down and across your cutting board and that will get you nice pieces of garlic. I'll scoop that up, throw that in there. I saved my onion until last because I, I love the taste, but they're a pain in the butt to work with. They make you cry and they're stinky. So the root end where it starts, where it's growing down into the ground, because onions grow this way, um, those are where all the new cells are. So that part is going to be a little more sensitive to the eye. So we're going to uh, only use the half of the onion from here up. And just take that, cut it in half. Putting it face down on my cutting board and I'm going to cut off the end. I'm just going to run my knife down the side of it just like that and peel off just that first layer. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to cut it into slices this way. Don't be hurt if it falls apart. It's fine. As I've said before, tastes the same and it's all going in the same spot. So you cut it first that way, now the other way. Now we'll take that, put it in our bowl, and mix this marinade around. Just a little bit, get everything in there. I've cleaned up my cutting board and now we're going to prepare the chicken breasts. I've washed them off with warm water which is really important because obviously it's raw so there are germs on it. Um, so warm water will get some of those off but not all of them. So chicken breasts, I don't know if you know this, um, also have another part called the tender and it separates pretty easily. Um, I'm going to separate it because I like the tender part better and you just kind of pull at it and it should just pop right out. If it doesn't, you can use your kitchen shears and little kind of tendons or pieces of fat that I don't want, you can just cut those off. See there's a little blood vessel, I don't really like to eat that, that's gross and ew. Um, so just going to throw that away and then you can take both of those put them in your marinade and just separate the tenders from the rest of the breasts as well. Cut off that little tendon and just run your finger down and if it doesn't pop out right away just put your scissors down where your finger was and just cut and it'll pop right out. At least it should. And of course the tender pieces are a little bit smaller so they will take a little bit less time to cook. Um, so maybe about five or 10 minutes before the breasts are done, uh, you could pull out the tenders and those will be nicely done. I'm gonna get pretty down and dirty with this. Just mix it all up together with your hands, get it nice and incorporated. Um, you want all of this chicken to be incorporated with the marinade. Just like that. And you really want it to be covered too. So if maybe your chicken breasts are a little bigger or your bowl's a little different, differently proportioned, um, you can grab a little more orange juice and pour that on top and you'll, that'll be fine. It's about improvising. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, use white vinegar. If you don't have a red bell pepper, use two green ones. Use whatever looks best, whatever you like. Now we're going to cover the marinade and the chicken with a little tin foil, plastic wrap, wax paper, whatever you want. I'm using tin foil. And we're gonna put that to marinate in the refrigerator for half an hour. After half an hour, we're gonna take that out and set it on the counter for 15 minutes, and then we can bake it. 
It's really important to let chicken warm up before you cook it, otherwise it gets tough and rubbery and it just isn't good for it to go to such a low temperature to such a high one in such a short amount of time. Good done. Now I've let my orange chicken marinate for about 45 minutes, give or take a few minutes, doesn't really matter. Um, and now it's time to put it in the baking dish and bake it. So I have my tongs and I'm going to get a few of these vegetables and I'm going to pour some of the marinade over them. And you don't need to grease the pan. And now with my tongs, I'm just going to take out the pieces of chicken and put them in the pan. Just putting all the chicken in the pan, even the tenders, all of it. Just make sure it's well spread out. Now I've got that all in the pan. I'm going to take all of this, all the rest of it, just pour it over and just pour on everything. Move that around a little. So in a 350 degree oven for about half an hour, I'm going to cook all of this. There you go. Now it's time to take the chicken out of the oven. Mmm, it smells so good. And I do want to make sure that it's cooked all the way. So I have a plate and a fork and a knife. I'm just going to take out one of these pieces, cut it in half and make sure that it's cooked all the way through, which it has. So I'll just put that back in there and let it cool.